M0FXB, welcome to my channel. I thought I'd show you this because, you know, I do a lot of video recordings just using my my mobile phone, which actually at the moment has smashed. I've ordered some new parts because it's a hobby of mine. I change mobile phone screens and I do the fronts, the backs, so I can do iPhones and Samsungs. So I'll show you what my mobile phone looks like. Now you can see at the moment my mobile phone, the smashed one, is actually on my FT3D and ID51. But if you look at it, it's pretty cool. It has no screen, front and back. And that's because I've removed those, those screens, ready for repair and waiting for, spare, waiting for spare parts to arrive. So, I'm just getting back on my radio. So how have I done this? How am I still using my mobile phone? So, this is where we take you to this page here, VYSORIO, Visor. Now, Visor basically allows you to view your phone screen on your PC. And this is a widescreen sort of version of, of what it looks like. And if I click home screen here, you'll start to see that this is my phone with uh, way too many, um, you know, apps on it most of them for radio and I still get a message see them still even even getting notifications there and we can turn on the camera we've got e my eBay all my different apps like even McDonald's McDonald's app so basically you fully control the phone you can uh, and with a mouse and all its functions including the one that's being used right now that's on my OBS here Here's OBS and there's my camera. Look, I can move it around the broken iPhone. Uh, I've been doing a few videos this morning on, uh, on you know, just the usual ham radio diary. Um, so if we minimize it. So let's look at Visor. Number one, I have literally just plugged it into the phone and I've downloaded it. Here's Visor. You click download. Try it out. You don't have to have a broken phone. Windows and it will run you know keep this far and when it runs yeah when it downloads and runs it will look like this and i hopefully it will find your phone now if it doesn't find your phone you probably have to just turn on developer options but that's a very easy thing to do um you know you just literally let me just go into the search here how to turn on to turn on android Sorry about this, I should have done this first. Options, there you go. Like that, just go into Google, go to settings, tap software, build number, tap it several times and, and you, that's it. You've basically turned on developer options and that's, it's literally that straightforward. So freeze frame the instructions on this and then just see how to do it. So, and then it will, so when you plug the USB into your normal phone as normal, and it should detect it. Yeah, like this one says SMG965F. Um, and then Android not found, but that's not true because it has found it. So um, and if I click play, and there it is there, and there's my phone. Look, I can even fire up Zello, which is a app that I use for network radios. And you even hear the volume out of the phone is normal. So if anyone's active on Zello, that'll go. And click home here again. Look for look for something like Peanut. That's something I use for ham radio. And there's Droid Star, Dude Star. Um, loads of apps for Icom. I'm trying to see Peanut. I know I should see it because it looks like a Peanut. <laughs> video Shop use that a lot. Um, cool. I can't see Peanut. Hubnet, yeah, that's a, that's a really good one. Double click that, and you can l listen to Hubnet live. Da I recommend you download this. Listen to Hubnet live. Um, now, what? I wonder if I can search apps. I bet I can if I know where to go. See the way you were scrolling through. Search. Let's try here. Put in peanut. P E A N. I might have deleted it. No, there it is. There. So we double click peanut. And then hopefully I'm all working, so I just log in. And if I, look, if I click PTT, look, I'm on air. Uh, and it's all working. Better log out. So have a look, check out Visor. I 
think it's a great app. If you've got an old phone, old Android phone, check it out. Have a little play. Why not? It's free. You can play around with old phones and maybe find a good use for them for your ham radio hobby. So 73, if you like my videos, please uh, subscribe and like and hit the notification button for future videos. All the best.